What is up, geeks? I finally had the chance to review this awesome figure, the Injustice Batman. I actually got it two weeks ago, way before everyone else got it, but I just never had the chance to review it. So finally, I have the chance to now, and this is how he looks like outside of the package. He looks so cool with the awesome artwork here. I was super psyched to open this guy up, and I've been waiting so long. So feel free to pause when you can. Let me just zoom in really quick. Just feel free to pause it. Okay, let me just start out by saying this guy is really, really cool. Uh, for one thing, they definitely stepped it up with the sculpting on this one. Mattel did a spectacular job. I mean, you don't even have to open the package to know that. It's just, it's a completely new body mold. Um, it's just really cool. Like, even the articulation is definitely different, and I'll definitely get to that in a second. Let me give you a closer look of the figure. Okay, let's just take a look at the sculpting here. Just look how detailed his cowl is. Um, just like every groove and every different color that they use is sculpted in there. It's not just painted on. And the, the paint is just really nice. There's no bleeding around the edges. They did very well, and they they utilized their time very well. So, it's a uh, it's it's very nice. Like, it's something that you would expect from DC Direct. The level of detail in this, just his suit is so so like accurate to the game and detail. I just I love it. I really do. It looks so cool. His armor is almost like the Chitauri alien armor that was in the Avengers. It's kind of cool the way that they the the way that they did this. Although one thing that I can kind of complain about is the blue. It's a little bit too light for my taste. Um, if anyone's seen the game already, it's a lot darker than that. But it's still looks nice. I mean, it doesn't take away from it at all as a figure. I think as a figure it's just perfect. And um now let's get into the articulation, which I think they could have done a little bit better with, but it doesn't it still doesn't take away from the figure. I'm still marveled at the way they sculpted this. It looks so awesome. Okay, so his head can go 360, but it can't go up that well, unfortunately. That would have been nice. Um, his arm goes out that much. No bicep swivel, which is a surprise because usually DC figures from Mattel do have a bicep swivel. But it does have this hinge joint for the elbow. Single joint here, which you can also move. And you can move the wrist, which doesn't really make sense, but it's okay. It's just extra articulation. And it could go in and out, which is nice. A nice new feature for Mattel figures. Um, his diaphragm joint is disappointing. You would think it would be perfect because of the way that they laid it out. But it can barely, barely move left and right. And there is no crunch in it, which is very unfortunate. Which definitely takes away from the dynamic of its pose of the poses that it can do um, the standard DCUC crotch uh, pit although it doesn't seem as bad for whatever reason I think they smoothed it out a little bit more here with the sculpting just yeah it looks a little bit better it's not too bad so it can go out that much and they have the standard bicep swivel here I mean not bicep so um the lower thigh rotation, usually it's the mid thigh, but here it's lower, which doesn't make sense. You know why? Because they have a single knee joint with the hinge. So if it can move like this already, there's really no reason why 
you move it up here. So they should have utilized the money for better articulation, maybe double jointed knees, you know. Well, uh, they didn't, so the ankles standard. I was hoping for a little ankle rocker. Maybe they could have done that, but it's too bad. It's alright though, I mean, just you can really take hours just looking at this figure for all its details and just the intricacy with the boots, the little lines here, the wrinkles. And I think I only got this for 20 bucks, it's not bad. His utility belt's pretty awesome too. I just love everything about it as far as um, the way it looks, you know. I could complain about the articulation, but it still looks like a great figure. His gauntlets. I'm just trying to go over everything I might have missed. Um, I like how his cape is up here in the shoulders. And it kind of goes over his shoulders. I mean, um, it starts with the chest and goes over the shoulders. It's a nice look for Batman. Okay, let's get a Batman size comparison. Now, he's a bit taller than the Movie Ma Masters Batman, Dark Knight Batman. Um, a little bit shorter than the DC Super Heroes one over there. Uh, about the same size as the New 52, and a lot shorter, obviously, than the DC Direct. And um, he stands at... I'd say, counting the ears, six and a half. And it's really hard for me to decide my favorite Batman. These are not all of them, but these are the ones that are opened and accessible at the moment. But out of these five, um, I really like all of them f for a certain reason, you know. This one obviously wins for detail. Um, this one wins with... Aesthetics, I think, with the shininess, the way that they went about this figure was really good. Um, this one, I kind of like the classic look and the the dirt and the grime and like the, the the shading that they did. So maybe paint would win for this, although paint was cool there too. Um, but that's more of the overall look of it. This one, I like because. He just looks, he looks cool, I guess. I don't know. I'm definitely going to make uh, a video covering all of the Batman figures I have. And definitely get into more detail and probably <laughs> plan out what I'm going to say better. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed my video. Keep watching. Um, I'm going to definitely try to make more videos. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Catch you later. Peace.